This is a Chinese knockoff of a sports watch. Looks like a model PE70. It says no jewels. I think no jewels because the uh, components are actually made of plastic. So I think this watch could last probably if you're running it all the time and it's got plastic components, depending on how good the plastic is, of course. Um, maybe 10 years running max. Um, anyway, the watch looks great on the outside. So if you look at the uh, the watch itself, right? It's a Peg Pagani design, which is a type of car, an automobile. And you can see the movement there, and it looks pretty impressive. So it's a good looking watch. Let me zoom out again here, hang on. It's a good looking watch, but I think beyond that, I think it's a uh, probably not a complete very expensive movement in there. It's a Chinese movement and it's more than likely a replica. It'd be interesting to see if the actual Pagani company or the company that builds these watches for Pagani actually have plastic movements in their watches. So anyway, it's a quick look at the, uh, the Pagani watch I picked up probably about, about a year ago. Anyway, great style watch, nice watch, beautiful looking, functions quite well. You can uh, turn on the stopwatch here, Let's see if I can get this thing running. I'm going to press this button here. And... There we go, and I stop it, and the red dial stops, and then I flip it, and it goes back around again, and it zeroes out. Looks like it's going, sounds like it's going nuts in the back. As you can see, gear movement, hell. I need to somehow stop this again. There we go. It's at zero now. And away we go. So, that's the watch.